<clears throat> All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning, EB. Nice to see you here. How are you doing this weekend? Um, so today we're going to be finishing up this flower drawing that I've got here. I've got the line art and all of the colors that I'm using listed down below. And I just see a couple of you guys coming in right now. So I'm just going to wait one moment and we will get started. Just going to make sure that I can hear and see everything okay. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. And I'm gonna start with this uh, Cream 102, and this is from the Polychromos pencils. And I'm gonna start getting a little bit more yellow down into here, just a little bit, and help this green uh, transition a little bit. EB says everything sounds and looks good. Okay, wonderful, thank you. That's always nice to know. <laughs> so I hope everyone's weekend is going well so far. Just gonna soften these lines out here that we put the last time, kind of going up into the petals. And I'm gonna keep this yellow here pretty close to this uh, like top petal um, before it curves down because it's a little more pinky down here. Um, EB says, I was busy, but now I can breathe. I got my Etsy shop up and running. Oh, wonderful. I'm gonna go um, have to check that out afterwards. So if you want, you can leave a link to your Etsy uh, shop in the chat here. Um, EB's been working on uh, Christmas coasters that she's starting to sell, and she's been doing them on a live stream over on Twitch. So if anybody that's uh, watching the replay or anybody live here, if you guys wanna go ahead and check out her shop, I'm definitely gonna be checking it out afterwards and picking up some coasters for myself. So yeah, you can go ahead and link that if you want because then it would be easier for me to find after. So for anybody just joining, I'm just using the uh, Polychromos Cream 102 right now, and I'm just getting a little bit more yellow down in this area. I don't want the whole thing, like to cover up the whole thing, because we still want a nice light transition up here, but I want a little bit more. Oh, good morning, Lisa. Nice to see you here. How's your morning going so far? And I'm always going in the direction of the petals with my strokes. So even if I'm not going completely smooth, I'm still always going in the direction. Awesome now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. So it's a little more yellowy here towards like the center area of it, so I'm gonna get that in as well. And I'm not pushing hard at all. I would say still like a, a medium pressure maybe at this point, because I'm probably not gonna blend out again. So where my base layers were a medium to light pressure, I'd say here I'm doing a little bit closer to medium pressure. 
I'm just bringing this yellow color just up slightly. Um, I am a bit biased, you know. <laughs> yes, thank you. I appreciate that. And no problem, EB. We've got to support each other. You know, you do um, a lot of work here being a mod and you always show up for the live streams when you're able to. So I super appreciate that. And I'll try to remember um, to say it again later on when there's uh, more people here as well. Because I really do like the way your coasters turned out. They are super cute. Okay. I'm just going to bring the yellow up a little bit here too. So I'm just really looking at my reference photo. Just trying to see, you know, where the, the colors transition and trying to get that in. You're so glad they're done. So how many did you end up doing? Because I think you did 90 and maybe another 90. Is that right? Just a little touch down here. Okay, I think that's where I like the yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, Light Magenta 119 from Polychromos. And I'm gonna use this to just uh, transition lightly a little bit again into some of these areas. And you can see where the Polychromos has a much harder lead, even just doing like very light pressure here. I can get some really nice um, light lines. And they stand out pretty well over this because we did, uh, you know, blend our first layer with the odorless mineral spirits. Okay. Now it's still pretty light like down here at these areas so I don't want to bring like too much um, of this pink down because I still want to keep a few of these areas pretty light. Uh, EB says 90 plus 90 plus 45 so 225 total. Um, 45 for my friends and family and the rest I'm selling. Sold over 50 at work. Wow, you've definitely been busy. That's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to jump into... I think I'm going to jump right into the uh, magenta color that I have here. So this is Prismacolor 930. And I'm going to start getting some of the dark areas in. And uh, then we can go back and feather in our lighter areas. And the white details I will add at the end. So I'm going to take this and where I've had our darker areas, I'm going to create like those little lines that are in the flower now. And I'm just going to see how this is going to show up. because I might have to go in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go in with the darker color and then I'll transition to the magenta. Uh, so I'm actually gonna take that magenta from Polychromos, which is 133. And this is just a little bit darker and a little bit more purpley than the Prismacolor magenta. Um, Lisa says, I was checking them out and they look really nice. Yes, she did a really good job on them. Um, I got four more to do so that someone put in an order with the Grinch on them. Oh, nice. That's going to be so cute. Maybe next year I'll have to put a uh, custom order in <laughs> to get some. So I'm going with the curve of the petal here to put these lines in. And I don't know if they're showing up just yet for you guys, but they are there. I 
So I'm watching the way that the lines on the petal go. So they're all kind of curving this way. So that's how I'm trying to curve my lines as well. And I don't want to bring the darker lines up all the way or all the way down because we want them to transition out nicely. So I'm trying to keep it mostly in the, the darkest area right now. And I'm using the same colors that we've already uh, used as well. And a little bit here. And now this is just curving slightly the other way. Okay, so then I'm going to grab that magenta color and just transition these down. Um, EB says, yes, I want to do more for next year and then try acrylic rounds as well. I'm giving free stickers with an order that are Christmas stickers I made. Oh, that's cute. The little uh, ones that you made with the gingerbread people and all that, because I was going to order those <laughs> too. They're so cute. Now this color, I want to be careful. I don't want to bring it up all the way into our light area because we don't want to lose that either. And I might go back and just add a little bit more of this, the uh, 133 from Polychromos. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. And if I find this area is not dark enough afterwards, we can always uh, use that 931, the purple that we put in some of the areas to darken it up a little bit more. But we'll see, I don't wanna to go too dark at first. And then it's like too dark overall. But I'm just gonna continue with these uh, colors right now over the flower and then we'll go back and add our lights in and then see if we need to darken anything up and any final last little details. And as always, if you guys have any questions you know, please feel free to ask. So it's a little more like red magenta E in here. So I'm gonna leave that and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this color over here. So this is the 133 polychromos. flower looks so real. Oh, thank you so much, EB. Well, this is just like our initial detailing of it. So it's, it's going to get better. Hopefully <laughs> that's the plan. So I'm curving my lines this way now. So I'm always following the curves of the petals. And that's going to help with the realism and make it look 3D. I'm going to get just a little bit. Just a little there. That's why I like using the polychromos like this for a lot of my detailing on top because they have such a nice point to them. You can really get um, some nice details. Well, 
without wearing out the, uh, the lead of the pencil too quickly. So I hope this is showing up for you guys. Just a little bit here. Those pencils are on my wish list. Yes, absolutely worth it. And as I'm trying to feather it out, I'm pushing harder and then I flick off. Um, so I get like, it's a little bit darker here and as I bring it up, I get like a finer point, and that's gonna help this transition out of the darker areas as well. <clears throat> um, Lisa says it looks good on my end. Oh, thank you, Lisa, I appreciate that. Sometimes it's hard to tell because I'm looking at like the little screen in front of me just to see how everything looks, but it's so small that I can't see much. So I hope that it, you know, it shows up nice for you guys. Um, and I tried to zoom in enough too. If you want me to zoom in any more so that it's more just on this area, let me know. But uh, I thought maybe you'd want to see the whole, the whole thing, but I can zoom in even more if it would be easier for you guys. NEB says, my new printer came yesterday, but I can't use it till after Christmas. The boyfriend said, oh, because it was a Christmas gift. <laughs> How mean. He's tempting you with it. We just put up our Christmas decorations yesterday. So that took us a couple of hours, but it's officially uh, Christmassy in here. <laughs> our in-laws are coming down next weekend, so we wanted to make sure we had, you know, all the Christmas decorations up and the tree up and stuff, so. Yes, I want to play. Well, you know, you could always wait until he leaves and j then just go, oops, it just fell out of the box. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so I'm trying to leave this little lighter area just in here where it sort of transitions almost like an S curve. So I'm putting darker on either area just because that's how I see it in the reference photo. Nope, I would get in trouble. I don't want to push my luck. <laughs> yeah. I guess if he was nice enough to get you that, then yeah, you don't want to push it too much. It's only a, a, about a month away. <laughs> yeah, if you have pets, just blame it on them. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. They they took it out and they set it up. Like, I don't know how that happened. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh. Apparently, I'm in a goofy mood today. Okay, I 
think that's as far as I'm going to drag that out on that side and I'm going to work this little shadow area in here. So again, I'm curving with the, the way that the petal's going. Well, that depends, Piranha's good. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to have a good laugh, eh? Okay, now I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more up top here and sort of start feathering it out. Spen said laughter is the best medicine. That is so true, so true. And I'm just lightly feathering it out just a touch more. And then I'm gonna come along right by that um, lighter area that we put in, and I'm gonna make sure it's good and dark right along there, because that's where our shadow is gonna be. And EB agrees, we all need a good laugh. Yep. Especially nowadays, you know, with everything going on, if you can't laugh, what can you do? And I'm just gonna make sure this edge is feathered out nicely. So I'm just doing those little like line motions again. Just to make sure it blends out very nicely. Oops, then I'm gonna throw my pencil and I'm gonna grab that magenta color from Prismacolor 930. Laughter and coffee. Yes, coffee is a must. <laughs> coffee is definitely a must nowadays. And I'm just gonna start putting this magenta color in sort of around where we put that darker purple color like we did over here. Um, but this area is a little more magenta, so I'm gonna keep this color over here and I'm gonna drag it down just a hint along this petal here. because I can see a bit of a pink shadowing. And this is gonna help the other petal look like it's really overlapping, that one. And I'm gonna blend it in with the green there. And then I can come back with the yellow afterwards and sort of smooth this out if I need to. Again, going with the curve of the petal. And then it sort of gets lighter. Um, EB says, making holiday signs for my door today, finishing my Thanksgiving ones, uh, starting my Christmas ones. Wow, you're gonna be busy. 
Is that what you're doing on stream later today? Uh, Lisa says, if you're Canadian or American, when you go in the bathroom and Canadian or American, when you come out, <laughs> what, what are you in the bathroom? You're busy. That's what you are. You're busy. In there. <laughs> I don't know. What's the answer? Y European. Oh gosh. Okay. European. <laughs> I like that. I quite enjoyed that. So again, I'm just using this color to help transition from that darkest area, which is gonna be in our lightest area. And just a touch up here as well. Um, there's your laugh for the day, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get this color in this back petal here because I can see this like little shape, sort of like a triangle shape with a line down the middle. And then I'm just going to do a few little lines just to indicate some like uh, direction in the petals. And I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and sharpen this pencil up a little bit just so that I keep a nice uh, tip because it's starting to lose that tip and I'm not getting as fine lines as I would like. Now I wanna make sure that I don't sharpen it too much either or the tip's just gonna break on me. But there, that's, that's a little better. And I'm rotating my pencil as I go every once in a while too, and that'll just help um, the tip stay a little bit sharper for longer. And I'm just trying to see where this color is. So when I get to the, the lighter area up in here, I'm just feathering it very lightly just to help it transition into that color. Might be just a little too far up. I'm just gonna grab my eraser here. So I've got my Faber-Castell Perfection eraser. 
eraser <laughs> and I'm just going to use that to erase where that little spot went a little too far into our lighter area. And because I blended out the, the base layers with odorless mineral spirits, <clears throat> our base layer will still stay. So I can erase this top layer and my base layers will still stay there, which is a, a bonus as well. Oh, EB says, I love the flower. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, you guys. You guys are so sweet sometimes. <laughs> well, not sometimes, all the time. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Now I'm going to start curving this the other way. Drawing flowers like this, like any botanical art, it's a little repetitive, but I just find it so, um, so calming. Because once you get all your base layers down, you're just basically, you know, just creating some details. And it's sort of the same thing over and over, but I just find it very, like, relaxing and calming. Because you don't have to think too much about it. Once you get, like, all your color in, you're just sort of enhancing it. But it's one of my, my favorite parts. Oh, good morning, Brianne. Brianna, nice to see you here. How's your morning going? Thank you so much for joining. Um, EB says, went with my mom to the art stores yesterday, spent so much money, of course. I know. I'm kind of glad I don't have too many art stores near me, but then at the same time, it's kind of a pain in the butt when you do need something, but at least... I, uh, I have online art stores that I can shop at, no problem, but I feel like if I had one, you know, not too far, there is one here not too far, but I find it doesn't have like too many fine art supplies, like it's got some stuff, but um, not a whole lot, or it's got stuff that I've, I've already got, um, and Brienne says, pretty good so far and you I am doing good this morning thank you for asking I'm just going to sharpen my pencil again so far I can't complain it's been a good morning and good morning Ash nice to see you here how are you this morning <laughs> we're working on our botanical drawing here so we're going to finish it up today for sure. We're just putting our uh, details in now at this point. So I'm just watching where the curved lines go. So it all sort of like curves up this way. So I want to make sure to always go with the, the curves. Yes, if you guys are just coming in, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like and uh, share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed it really does help my channel out and it helps these videos to get out in front of people ash says i'm good i just got home and it's really cold out oh it's cold out here too we just started getting frost in the morning and oh it's so depressing i gotta go out and like scrape the car off now <laughs> in the mornings Okay, and I'm just going to feather this side a little bit. Uh, Brianna says, we have a Joanna's and Michael's side by side, so I usually get lots of paint and my mom lots of fabric. Well, that works out. So there's a reason for her to, to bring you along then or to go in the first place when she gets something out of it too. So I'm just working on the darkest areas right now and we'll go in and add our lighter areas afterwards. We have a Michaels uh, close by to where I'm, I'm at. So I do have that, you know, that I can go and uh, buy stuff from. But I don't know, I find 
they don't really have that many good deals anymore. They used to have really good coupons and I find they just don't have like that great of coupons anymore. So I'm helping this darker area transition out. Now this is already a little dark in here, so I'm not gonna see anything too, too much, but I just wanna help this transition out. And then just creating some of those lines coming up here where it's gonna transition into the lighter area. Now here where it's a little lighter, it does show up. And because I'm pushing a little harder, I am rotating my pencil quite a bit so that I keep that nice point that I'm getting here. And then I'm just going to just lightly create a couple of lines up here, there. Um, Brianna says, oh wow, I couldn't imagine living in a cold climate. The high on Tuesday is 59 and I'm going to cry. I miss the 90s, oh my gosh. Yeah, well we're getting ready for some snow up here in Canada. I'm, I'm in Atlantic Canada and it's getting cold and the snow's coming. Um, EB says, just seen the Black Friday ads from Joann's. Yeah, they, they always get some good deals, but Michael's, man, I don't know. Like, they used to give 50% off coupons all the time, and now the most I've ever seen, I think, is like 30% within the last year, maybe a couple of years. So, I don't know. Creating a little bit more lines there. I have been looking at the Cricut, but I don't want to start a new hobby just yet. Yeah, I'm with you too, Brianna. I see people do like really amazing stuff with that. And I'm just like, do I really want to get into something like that? I think I'm into enough stuff already, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just going to bring this um, magenta color down just slightly in here. I see it a little bit lower in the reference. Okay. So now I'm gonna grab that light magenta 119 from the Polychromos, and I'm gonna start uh, feathering into our lighter areas, and then we'll come on top with our white afterwards and uh, like create those last highlights and stuff, and then uh, we'll do any touch-ups. Just going to check chat real quick here because you guys are chatting away today, which I love. Um, EB says, Michael's isn't that great for the Black Friday. It's mostly Christmas. Yeah. We'll be back. I have to make a call. Okay, no problem. Um, Brianna says, really, my Michael's is jammed packed with great deals and coupons. I'm sad for you. Yeah, my store, um, you don't really have to pay full price for anything in my area. No, and the sad thing about my Michael's is they got rid of the good coupons, but they didn't lower any of the prices. So they got rid of the 50% coupons, so you get 30% off now, which is something. But they didn't, like, I think their intention was to eventually lower all of their prices so that their products were just cheaper in general. So you didn't need a 50% off coupon to have it at normal price. Um, but that just never happened. So it's still the same price and we don't get as good coupons. Now, every once in a while, they'll do like a deal where all their paints are on sale for 30% or something like that. So I'll wait to pick up paints until then because uh, that's a better deal than just one being on 30 percent but if there's something that i need like one color or whatever i'll i'll go in and get it but i don't like i try not to go as much anymore just because it's it's too expensive really for what you're getting i'm just going to grab that um fuchsia 123 from polychromos and just get a couple little dark lines in here. I just see a few 
like little darker lines coming back. A little bit darker than the other one. And this is gonna help it give that uh, curved look as well. And again, I'm not trying to cover all of the white area, but like that. So I'm going back to the 119 light magenta from Polychromos. And I'm working those lighter areas again. So I'm blending those darker colors that we just put down into the lighter areas and just creating a little bit uh, more detail in the lighter areas. So where you see a little bit more of those lines going on. Brianna says, I wonder um, if it's where you live. We also have a warehouse nearby. They have 40% off regular price items every day for us and just honestly great sales every week. I feel bad for y'all. Yeah, I wish, um, I wish ours was like that. And I mean, it's not that they don't have good products or whatever, they have great products. It's, I just don't wanna pay <laughs> that much for them. So I'll wait until things are on sale and then get it while it's on sale, but. So I'm trying to keep this light area in here too that I can see. Um, EB says, sorry, things were happening at work. No problem. Welcome back. So I'm just, you know, using this to sort of soften and transition those edges. Brianna says, like, Black Friday till January and the store is pretty much 50% off. Well, maybe, you know, when it's not COVID out, I'll go to the stores and go visit like Michael's down there. Just do like a Michael's trip or something <laughs> or an art trip because even like Dick Blick has like amazing sales and amazing products and stuff and but the shipping to up here in Canada is ridiculous. I mean it's not it's not really worth it unless you're getting a lot of stuff so it's it's hard to get stuff from there but Luckily, we have a Delta Art up here in Canada, and the shipping's really not bad from them at all. It's a decent, it's a reasonable price, I think. And then there's like uh, Desserts in Quebec, and there's a couple of other places around as well. So at least there are some options for us up here in the north. <laughs> and it could just be dependent on where your Michaels is at like location wise because eb says michael's didn't have good sales right now for her so maybe it's like a location thing i would think you know because michael's is a train a train <laughs> it's like a chain business you would think that their sales would be quite similar throughout all of their uh, stores but perhaps not um hello art arts tips art tip Art, artist tips. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm butchering that. Artist, artist tips. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Um, unfortunately, I can't read that text, so I'm not sure what that says. <laughs> Oh, good morning. 
I hope I said your name right. Is it Art Artist Tips? Is that it? I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen up this pencil as well, just so I can get some little finer lines in here. Oh, it's nighttime there, is it? Oh, hopefully it's not too late, but I appreciate you uh, joining. They're just getting some little transition lines in there. And down here as well. Now, very light hand down here, just because it doesn't quite go all the way down. There's sort of like a light area still on either side. Brianna says, I live in Florida, USA. I think it's a local thing as well. Florida is really artistic, so maybe that's why. That could be it. That definitely could be it. So I'm pretty much covering this whole side with this color, uh, just because it is a little darker here. There's not quite as defined highlight although I might leave a little bit more of a highlight um, than what is showing in the reference photo, just because I kind of like how it's looking. So it just depends on your, your preference there, whether you wanna darken this edge up even more or leave it a little bit lighter. Um, Brianna says, I believe Michaels might also have moved their headquarters to Florida, so I'm not sure it might be in Georgia. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. And good morning, Terry Lynn. Nice to see you here. How's your morning going or whatever time of day it is for you? We're working away on our flower here. Okay, and I think I'm gonna take that uh, 123 fuchsia from Polychromos and just add a few little extra lines in here along this edge. Um, EB's taking a coffee break. Actually, that will remind me to take some water. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I always forget to drink water during the live streams and then when I'm done, I'm like, why am I so thirsty? <laughs> And Brianna says, my neighbors are Canadian, but they have lived uh, there for 30 years, but they make a yearly trip back to Canada. Very nice. And Terry Lynn says, it's going good. Wonderful. Or it's going. I guess it's just going. <laughs> well, hopefully it's going a bit good. Or maybe it's going better now, <laughs> now that you're here. So I like a little bit of the light rim around this petal, so I'm not getting rid of all of it. But I just want a little bit more detail in there, a little bit darker of lines a little bit.
and here they just start to ever so slightly start to curve the other way. And then I'm going to take this color as well and do the lines in here, sort of again transitioning them down. I might add just a little bit over here. Okay. All right. So back with that uh, 119 light magenta from the polychromos. And I'm just going to add a little bit up in here. Again, just to help transition from the really dark to the really light. Um, Brianna says, what are some pencils you like or want to try out? Well, I have the uh, full set of Prismacolor Polychromos. I have the 72 Luminance. And I think my next on my list would be the, the Light Fast pencils. I have a couple of them, like a handful of them that I've tried, and I really like them. So I think I would like to get... Uh, their set and I know they have up to a hundred pencils right now but I would probably just get the I think it's 72 or 76 set or something like that and then I can always buy the other ones open stock unless the whole set was on sale <clears throat> then I would probably get that but I think that would be the next pencils I'd be looking at Um, and Terry Lynn says, just eight more days and I will have officially finished my coloring book. It's Chris Rydell, 100 Hugs, if anyone wants to know. Yes, that's pretty cool. You've been very busy uh, working on that. So I've got some white pencils here. I've got the Faber-Castell white and the Prismacolor white. Now the Prismacolor's more opaque, but it won't hold a tip as well and the polychromos will hold a little bit better tip so i'm going to start with the prisma color and see what i can get done and if i have to move to the polychromos i will but this just isn't as opaque and i'm going to start to get in some of our lighter detail in here and while i have a few people here i'll just mention again you know make sure you like the video that does really help out and i'm sure all of you guys are subscribed <laughs> look there goes eb Great minds think alike. So I'm going to start on this petal and again just work my way over with the light areas. And I'm going to see what kind of detail I can get in here. I might try the polychromos just to see how that stands out. Hmm. Just going to see which one here I like better. You know what, I might do the polychromos, and then if I've got to add whiter areas, I will switch to the Prismacolor. Because I do want to make sure I can get some of these little lighter lines in here. So I don't know if they're showing up for you guys just yet, but it's just sort of like little detailing lines. <clears throat> and for you, those of you that are here, and um, if you saw the post that I put out on my community feed, I am starting my Patreon officially on December 1st. So I will be doing like extra real-time tutorials just like this over there. And I've got a few ready to go up for December. So um, I wouldn't sign up until like December 1st or after just because it will charge you like now ahead of time and then it will charge you again uh, for December 1st so I would go ahead and wait and then sign up if you guys are interested in that I know when I put the the poll up there was quite a few that were interested so I decided why not if it's more content extra content that I can you know offer for you guys
Okay, I'm also going to go along on this edge and just get a few up here. So is that showing up for you guys? Yeah, I think so, eh? get some over here. I might switch to the Prismacolor over here. Yeah, you can see like how much more opaque that is. And then it just shows up so much better. So I'm going to put a little bit of this over here as well. Oh, well, good morning, Shadow. How are you doing this morning? Um, EB says, yes, I see it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So because we, you know, use the OMS for the bottom layers, I'm able to go on top with these white colors and, you know, get a little bit more detail than if I were to just to go on top with the pencils. And then that wax that's sitting on top of the paper is, uh, you know, making a resistance for the other pencils to go on top. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the Prismacolor for now because it's doing a pretty darn good job. And then I might just have to sharpen it a little bit more here and there, just so that I keep getting that those fine lines that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna get this white line that's in here. Shadow says, I'm well, thank you. And how are you? I'm doing pretty good this morning. Thank you for asking. doing pretty good. Can't complain too much. <laughs> and I'm going to sharpen it up again. And also, for any of you guys uh, live right now, or if you're watching the replay, I also put a poll out this week just asking what you guys wanted to do for the next live stream. And a lot of you had suggested to do a, a color along. So I think the poll was about 70% for a color along in a coloring book. So, you know, unless that drastically changes in the next couple of days, that's what we'll end up doing. So do you guys want like a Christmas one or do you have, you know, any specific suggestions or if you have um, specific mediums that you would like to see, like colored pencils, markers, let me know either here in chat or in the comments down below and that's what we'll do. So that'll be kind of fun to switch it up a little bit and it'll I don't know if it'll just be for one stream or you know if you guys really like it then maybe we could do it for a couple of streams we'll just see play it by ear and see how it goes getting a little bit of light back into some of these areas. Next Sunday is officially Christmas season, so I say Christmas page. Okay. Well, we've got one vote for a Christmas page. Any uh, specific mediums that you would like, EB? So 
So I'm starting at the edge here where it's the lightest and feathering this color out as I go. So I'm pushing hard and then lifting off. And again, always going in the direction of the petal, right? Except for that area right there. Because <laughs> I was just correcting the, the shape of the petal. <clears throat> Any page, um, I vote for markers. Okay. So one vote for markers. Brianna says, I really like how you built up the color with just uh, the pencils. Yes, this is my favorite way to work with um, colored pencils. I'll do like a base layer and then I come on top and do all of my details. And it, it works pretty good that way. And then, you know, I'm not spending like hours and hours and hours, you know, trying to get everything just right and, and burnishing and then worrying if I, you know, ruin the tooth of the paper that I can't come on top and, you know, do what I need to or if I need to fix anything. You know, this just makes it a lot easier. Okay, I need to bring this light area down a little bit more down here though. And Shadow Guard says he votes for any medium. <laughs> and EB says, I can't believe November is almost over. This is a fast moving month. Yes, it is. It feels like it has flown by, just completely flown by. Okay, so I'm working my way back up. Brianna says, that's how I learned as well. I see um, a lot of markers than pencils and I would be so scared to do that. They are beautiful still. Actually, I have a tutorial coming out in December for Patreon and I use uh, Copic markers as a base and then I color on top with colored pencils just to bring out the, the details. So it's almost like the same way of doing the base layer with colored pencils, blending it out with OMS and then going up over top with the details. Um, I'm just using uh, the Copic markers instead. So, um, that's, that's kind of fun. And it's actually going to be a secret collaboration with somebody. I didn't say that, shh. <laughs> but I'm really excited about it, so. Um, Lisa says, uh, same, I'm really enjoying watching what you do. It makes me, makes you happy. Oh, thank you. Shadow says, I meant the end of the year always appears to move fast. Yes. And, uh, by the way, I'm a she. Oh, well, very nice. I don't know why, for some reason, I kind of assumed with your name that maybe it was a, a he. But I mean, you can never really assume, can you? And this just goes to, to show you that. Absolutely. And I'm just doing a couple, actually, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this up because I just want a couple little lines in here just to indicate a little bit of lightness in there, but not a whole lot. I don't want them to be very thick. Um, Brianna says how exciting yeah so that's going to be one of the patreon uh, tutorials and it's all going to be in real time and it will probably be in two parts just because it 
it is a little bit um, longer, more in-depth tutorial. Um, and Shadow says, I know my name appears masculine. It does, but I don't know if there are any Lord of the Rings fans out there because every time I see your name, I think of uh, Shadow Facts. And I want to call you Shadow Facts. <laughs> so I'm just doing just a couple really light lines in here just to help like indicate the direction of the petal, but I, I don't want to take away too much of the dark and I can go on top with more of that, um, what was it, the fuchsia color I think that we used. And again, I'm just gonna do a couple little light ones just along this edge here, but I, I don't want it to be too, too uh, bright either. So I'm keeping it just along the edge here. Cause I like how there's just a little bit of like a hint of light coming but most of the light is coming from this side as well. Brianna says, what time is it for everyone? It is 11 a.m. for her. It is 12.06 here, 12.06 p.m. So it's just afternoon time for me. I started streaming at 11 a.m. Actually, it's kind of, that would be kind of fun to see um, where everybody's at. So I'm doing just a little bit of these white lines down here at the bottom as well, just helping everything like transition nicely together. Shadow says, um, you can call me Shadow Facts. That'll confuse people who watch the replay. <laughs> yes. Has my time changed yet? Yes, it changed. Was it last weekend or the weekend before? I think it was the weekend before last it changed. It went uh, behind an hour. So right now it technically would have been one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and again, I'm just doing a couple little lines in here. I don't want to get rid of a lot of the, the darkness in here but I just want to indicate like a little uh, bit of direction. And then I'm going to take it and start bringing some of this light down. And this Prismacolor is doing a pretty darn good job. I'm able to get, you know, some pretty small lines. Now I did draw this out um, on an eight by 10 piece of paper. So depending how small your paper is, you might not be able to get as fine of lines or they might not look as fine because if your image is smaller, then the lines are gonna look bigger on the petals. So then you might wanna do the, the polychromos. And if you're having trouble with that, when you're doing your dark lines, just don't bring them out as much or start with your white colored pencil first and get your whites in first and then you make sure that you're keeping your nice bright areas. But I always like to, to get my darks in first Usually I'll go like mid-tones, darks, and highlights. It just depends, I guess. Maybe it depends on what subject I'm doing or what I'm feeling, but I, I think I tend to do it that way. So I'm just really making these very light down here, very sparse, just a, the hint of an indication. Um, and I'm definitely not taking it in this dark area because I want to make sure that's my darkest area there. Brianna says, ours changed last week, maybe two, and it's been horrible. It should be 12, but it's 11. <laughs> yeah. Um, EB's back. And Shadow says, I don't like how it's so dark at around 4.30 p.m. Yeah, same here. Again, I'm going to do those little light lines down here. Yeah, it gets dark here and I don't really, like I see the point of daylight saving time, but at the same time I don't because I'm like, it's dark when I get up anyway. It's dark when I get home and it's just a pain in the butt to kind of, you know, twice a year you wake up early or you wake up late. Like it kind of messes with the, the time and uh, with my sleeping pattern for, you know, a little bit at least, because I find I'm still waking up at the same time or I'm still wanting to 
wake up around the same time. And I'm going to take this white and again just go over this line here where it's uh, much lighter. I want to make sure that this really pops and shows that it is like the edge of where that petal is like curving. And it's not pure white because we did put some of those uh, like pink petal colors underneath of it before. And I am pushing quite hard here for that. Okay. And I think I'm gonna get a little bit more light going on up here in this area, um, just a little bit. I'm just gonna check chat here. So Shadow says, I love how the base of the tulip transitions to the magenta colors. Yeah, I really like that. So I played up, it's not quite, as yellowy but I really liked the yellow so I kind of played that up a little bit but it's a really pretty um, transition eh? I hope you guys are liking it as well um, Brianna says yes and like Florida hasn't had any sun lately and I'm so sad I miss the sun and the heat yeah I wish we had heat right now EB says I hate it too it's dark when I go to work and dark when I get home yeah so I'm kind of like what's the point at least you know if they would have left it, we would have had light at some point. I don't know, there, there must be like a reason. And I think it's just so it's more like light out at a certain point, but I don't know. So I'm just getting a little bit more of this light white in here. B says, well, good news. I only have to work two days this week. Thank you. Thanksgiving. Nice. Nice. Um, Shadow says, I wake up early now, but I still go to bed late. <laughs> yeah, that's my problem a lot too. I'm going to take that fuchsia color, 123, and I'm just going to work around a couple of these petals here just to create a little bit more of a shadow. Just a hint. So I'm going pretty light here because this color shows up quite a bit. And then I'm going to take the yellow and I will help it uh, blend in and transition. But I just want a little bit more definition just around some of these petals here. Just bringing this color down just a little bit more. So I'm, I'm going back, I'm adjusting, you know, it's just constantly like, do I like it? Do I want to adjust it? And this is, you know, if you watch my tutorials, you know this is my favorite stage <laughs> where I just get to go in and add the details and make it look how I want it to look, you know. I'm going to take the Prismacolor White and just add an ever so slight little bit of light highlight coming down here. 
just indicating that the direction of the petal. It's not as prominent as this one in here. Um, I'm going to tone that down just a little bit. But I just want a little hint that there's, you know, that's like the, the middle of the petal. So where it folds, that area is sort of sticking out a little bit more. So just very lightly, just glazing over it. And then I'm gonna go back and grab that yellow. This is a Cream 102 from Prisma, uh, from Polychromos, actually. Um, oh gosh, okay. Shadow says, I'm cooking my first turkey in 16 years. I'm scared, wow. You'll be fine, you'll do fine. I'm sure it'll turn out just amazing. I'm worried about undercooking the turkey and giving everyone food poisoning. Make sure you have a, um, like a measuring thing there, like a thermometer, yes, EB says, get a thermometer, a meat one, absolutely, just in case. So I'm gonna take that cream color and just help the, the pink transition in. So if I lay this cream color over it, it's just gonna tone it down just enough to help it like blend in and look like a shadow under the petal because those two colors are going to mix together. Um, well, my boyfriend cooks more than me and he uses it, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, my mom, you know, makes the best turkey and she always makes some and has some left over for us. So I haven't had to cook a full turkey <laughs> yet. And I feel pretty lucky that she likes to feed us. I'm gonna grab that fuchsia color and just sort of, um, just blend this out a little bit, like lighten it. So it's not just a stark line. I'm just lightly like glazing and pulling that color out just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to uh, blend again. So here I am pushing harder, sort of burnishing those colors together because I know I'm not gonna really put too much more over top of this in that area. Yay for moms, yes. What would we do without moms, eh? Uh, Brianna says, we usually cook it on medium heat for like six to seven hours. My mom puts it in at night and my dad will check it during the night. Oh wow, you guys cook it overnight. Hmm. Do you eat your turkey early, is that why? Or you just like to have it ready to go and you can heat it up? If it's still pink, just leave it in. Yeah, pink is not done. <laughs> Speaking of cooking, I need my roaster back. Oh, yeah, somebody should uh, give that back to you. <laughs> Oops. Um. EB says, yeah, my parents do all the cooking as well for Thanksgiving, but I told them to tell me if they need any help. Yeah. Brianna, how large is the bird? Yeah, that sounds like a, a pretty big bird for like seven, six, seven hours. Yeah. That, uh, that sounds pretty big. So I'm just adding this lightly just to tint this area a little bit, but I'm going to keep it lighter and then just, you know, helping these colors transition. So at this point, this is where I like to stop looking at the reference photo so much and I look at mine and I say, what's going to make my picture look better? Because I feel like I have most of the information from the reference photo on my paper. 
I just want to look at it and say, okay, where do I want to add color? Do I need to fix shadows or add lights or anything like that? Um, so this is sort of the stage that I, I like to do that. And of course, I don't want to stray, you know, too much from the reference photo. So I don't want to add too much light where it's not unless that's the look I'm going for. Um, like this yellow, I'm playing up the yellow a bit more than what's in the reference photo, but I quite like it. So that's, you know, my artistic choice to do that. And I think I'm going to glaze a little bit of this yellow down here on the stem as well, just to really help brighten it up, just in the lightest areas. Now I did put this color as an underlayer, but I want it just a little bit brighter. Okay. So, um, Brianna says, well, we cook it around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, like the heat isn't that high, it comes out really tender. Oh yeah, that is kind of low heat, I think. EB says, I had my oven stopped working when I cooked it one time. Oh no, that sucks. Yes, overnight cooking turkey is the best. It's so juicy. I've never tried it that way. And Brianna says, oh, well, oh, wow, it's not that big. Maybe eight pounds. Wow. So I'm just going to go in a couple of these areas and just um, add a little bit more darkness because I quite like the contrast between the dark and the light. So I'm just gonna add this to a couple of areas. And then I think that's where I like it. Yeah, it's a medium size. It's done by morning and we just warm up around lunchtime. Wow, that's kind of cool. But then you kind of miss the, the turkey smell that you've got going all day while you're cooking everything else. I feel like that's part of, you know, the thing too, because you can just smell it and you're, you're just watering at the mouth waiting for that turkey. I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen up this pencil as well just because I'm not getting as fine lines as I would like and I'm just going to test it I hope that wasn't too much there we go So I don't want to go too overboard with the dark. I just want to add just a, a hint back in. I need to take my turkey out today to defrost it in the fridge. Yes, and EB says, I want turkey with all this talk. <laughs> Thursday is so far away. Yeah, I'm with you too. I feel like we should, you know, have a in between turkey, in between Thanksgiving, because our Thanksgiving was last month. So I feel like I need like a pre-Christmas turkey. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of this under here where that shadow is. Just a hint of it. Brianna says sometimes we deep fry it. Nope. <laughs> we eat it at lunch and then usually watch a movie and decorate for Christmas. Wow. Hello, Della. 
Nice to see you here. How are you doing today? I hope everything's going well. Um, EB says, my boyfriend made a great chicken last night. We had the whole chicken. Wow. It must have been just one of those like smaller, like individual chickens. Brianna says ours is in the free in the freezers. We just defrost in the sink, cold water, and then straight in the oven. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this color coming out. I feel like this edge needs to be just a little bit darker but I don't want to take it all the way. Oh, good morning, Deborah. Nice to see you here. How are you doing this morning? Nice to see everybody showing up this morning. Ooh, E.B. says, what is everyone thankful for this year? That is a great question. I think, I'm going to have to think about that for a minute. What am I thankful for? I think I'm just thankful for you guys. I think I'm thankful that I, you know, started this YouTube channel. I wasn't really sure how it was going to go, if anybody was even going to watch or be interested and I feel like it's evolved a little bit since I've started it, but I'm pretty thankful, you know, that I have some regulars that, that do show up and participate and watch my content. And without you guys, I wouldn't do this because if nobody shows up, you know, there's no sense in creating or making videos. So I'm, I'm really thankful for, for you guys. And it gives me a reason, you know, to, to get up and do some art and, I feel like I get to socialize too at the same time. So I feel like I get a little bit of everything in, especially in this, you know, past couple of years with COVID. And I'm, I'm just very grateful for that. So um, Deborah says, I had notifications on thanks YouTube for not notifying me. Oh, I'm doing relatively well. Oh, I'm sorry, Deborah. I feel like it's done that to you before. For some reason, YouTube just doesn't think you, you need to be here. <laughs> and I know sometimes it is hard to remember when somebody's streaming, you know, even though I try to stream at the same time each time just to make it easy for you guys, but I totally get it. Okay, I think I like this edge here, so I'm not gonna touch that. And I'm just gonna go back with that magenta and just touch up a little bit where I just wanna sort of warm it up because the uh, Polychromos one, so this is from Prismacolor 930. The Polychromos magenta is a little bit more purpley, but it's working really great for some of these shadow areas. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more warmth back in a couple of areas with this color and just help transition those like darker areas out again and then I think our flower is going to be done I really like how it's turning out I hope you guys are liking it as well I'm just going to catch up on chat here real quick you guys are chatting away I love it um Stella says I'm thankful I didn't get COVID yes that's another one to be thankful for um, yes, EB says, please like, comment, and share, and subscribe if you're not. It it really does help my channel out, so I really appreciate it, guys. Shadow says, I'm thankful my family is still alive. Oh my gosh, I'm thankful for that, too. Uh, Deborah says, I'm thankful to still be alive. Have stage 4 pancreatic cancer. Was told five months, and it's been a year. Oh my gosh, prayers and reaching God's ears. I am, you are in my prayers as well, Deborah. That is, I can't even imagine. 
I can't even imagine. But you know, you've gone past your prognosis so far. You just got to make, you know, the best of the time that you have. Hopefully you have lots of support at home. But my gosh, my heart is going out to you. I can't imagine what you and your family is going through. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So the fact that you're, you know, here and you're participating, um, you know, thank you. Thank you so much. Because you've got so much more to worry about. Oh, with chemo, my mind wanders. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure you are in all of our thoughts and our prayers right now. So I'm just bringing this color around like that purple area where I had it and a little bit in here. I feel like it needs to be warmed up just a little bit around here. And like that. And I think I'm just gonna have a little look at it, check chat again, and then we might be done. Yes, everybody's giving Deborah's prayers. So yes, you are all in our thoughts. You're in all of our thoughts, I should say. And Deborah says, I'm still waking up alive. You and others inspire me to keep going. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I hope, um, you know, that I'm doing that for you. That means a lot to me. Creating helps keep the bad thoughts away. Yeah. Um, Shadow says, am I going to frame the tulip? You know what? I might. I really like how this came out. It's, it's looking pretty good, I think, so far. I really like the purple and the magenta feel um, and the yellow. And it is an 8x10, so it would be an easy piece to just go ahead and frame. I'll just have to sign it, and I'd probably sign it either down here. Or pro yeah, probably down here somewhere. I usually wait and sign my stuff, you know, once I'm, I'm completely done with it, and I know that it's going to be framed or it's going to whoever it's going to. Just grabbing that Prismacolor white again, and I'm just going to get, you know, a few little more bright areas in here while we're finishing up. Because <laughs> I can never just put the pencils down and just be done. Brianna says, um, how big is your paper and tulip for reference? So the paper is 8 by 10. So I would say, you know what, let me grab... This, so the paper is 8 by 10 and the tulip itself would be, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 8 inches tall and about, about 5 and a half inches wide. So it's an eight by 10 paper and then it's eight by about five, just for reference. And that's like the size of my hand, just so you guys can see the, the reference. It's a little bit bigger, but I like to do botanicals a little bit bigger because they're usually, they don't take that long and you're able to get quite a bit of detail in them. I've also got some tutorials on my channel of doing them a little bit smaller. I think I did some five by seven as well. So it just depends, but I really like this. And this is the Strathmore 500 series hot pressed paper. And I should have everything linked down below for you guys as well, as long as the, um, as well as the line drawing there. Um, it's beautiful. You should frame it. Thank you. I think I might, I might, unless somebody wants it for a Mother's Day gift or something. <laughs> um, make prints. I would buy it. Oh, well, maybe that's a, that's a good idea. Maybe I will make a print and start an Etsy or something. If you guys are interested in that, I could totally uh, do that. Yeah, make prints available for you guys. Would you like that? Yeah. 
Naomi, do you think about light fastness? Yes, um, I do. And most of the pencils, well, usually all of the pencils that I use will be light fast. So that's why when I'm using Prismacolor, I'll tend to pull out some of the polychromos. Now there are a couple in polychromos that aren't as light fast, but they're still pretty light fast. But there's about maybe half of Prismacolor that's not completely light fast. So if I'm doing a pet portrait and I'm, you know, selling it or it's going to somebody, then I'm absolutely only going to pick the light fast colors. If I'm doing just a quick portrait um, for a tutorial or if it's something that I'm not going to be selling, I mean, if somebody wants to buy it, they absolutely can. But if I've used some non fast light colors in there, then I need to let them know and say it there could be the potential that it's going to fade over time or if i'm doing prints um like you guys suggested then using non light fast colors isn't a big deal at all it doesn't really matter because you're doing the prints right and the prints are going to last but if you're at all selling your artwork you want to make sure everything that you're using is light fast and archival so that means if you're using like white gel pen over top for your highlights, that's not going to be archival and it will come off over time. So if you're using colored pencil and you can't get those white highlights, look into something like the uh, titanium white and touch up texture from brush and pencil because that's archival and it's formulated to go over top of colored pencils. Um, so that's a really good suggestion too. And I use that in a lot of my pet portraits for the last little white details. Um, just to make sure that everything's archival that way. So I hope that answers your question, Shadow. Lisa said, I heard that and yes, that would be lovely. Okay, so the, the mom might be getting this as a <laughs> Mother's Day gift, but I might frame it and keep it on my wall until then. Um, oh, I want to buy a print. Oh, geez, okay, you guys are, you guys are amazing. So, okay, maybe I'll do some prints and get things up on uh, Etsy then, and I will let you guys know when that happens. And as well, I'm starting my Patreon in December, starting December 1st, so I'll be doing extra real-time tutorials over there. Now, I've got some tutorials ready to go up for December, but I'm considering changing them either sometime in December or January to do live streams instead of the um, edited videos for uh, Patreon. So, you know, let me guys know if you, let me guys, <laughs> let me know if you guys would rather the live streams or just keep the edited tutorials just for Patreon. Um, because I thought it would be fun, you know, to do a live stream format like this. And then if you guys have questions about the artwork or whatever, you can ask me while we're doing it, uh, depending what time it is. I know not everybody would be able to show up, but there's that. And I feel like I'd be able to do more content because then I don't have to, um, you know, edit stuff down and uh, that. So that's an idea as well. Brianna says, this is great information. You're very welcome. I'm glad it's helping. So yeah, Lisa says, this looks so realistic. Well, thank you. And I hope you like it. So if anybody didn't get that hint, who Lisa might be, let me know if you um, realize who she is. Um, and Shadow says, Naomi, have you thought to drawing adult coloring pages to sell on Etsy. No, I haven't. And I didn't know if anybody would be interested in that. But from the poll that I put up, you guys are interested in doing a color along. So next Sunday, our uh, live stream will be a color along of a coloring page. But I didn't know that people, so they set, they color the pages and then they sell them colored. Is that it? I've not heard of that. So that's kind of interesting. Deborah says, I would definitely join your Patreon if I'm still around. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you're going to be still around in December. Oh, and uh, and don't sign up before December 1st because it will charge you before, like now when you sign up, and then it will charge you again on December 1st, just so you guys know. Um, but gosh, Deborah, I hope you're still around for quite a long time. And I'm just going to grab a little drink here. All right, so I think this is where I'm going to leave our flower for today. If you guys have any last minute questions or anything, then let me know. Um, and if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out EB's channel. She um, does videos here on YouTube. She also streams on Twitch and she does like real time stuff like this. Um, she also just did some uh, coasters, some Christmas coasters. And the link for that should be at the beginning of the chat here. So... 
I don't know, maybe you can go ahead and link it again, EB, if you've got it, but she made some Christmas coasters and she's selling them on Etsy. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out as well, they're really, they're really beautiful. I really like them and I'm going to be picking up some after this stream as well. Brianna says, I haven't heard of that. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't hear of people doing that either, but I mean, why not? If somebody likes it, they would buy the page. Yeah. Um, Shadow says, I sometimes buy blank adult coloring pages from Etsy to color myself. Yes, I've heard of that, like buying the, the line art version of it, but I haven't heard of people selling the colored in version. So that's kind of interesting, unless that's not what you meant. Deborah says, not colored is what Shadow is suggesting. Okay, yes. So just the line art. Yeah. And maybe that would be cool because I could, you know, I have the line art for you guys already. So I could always put the line up, up and sell that. But I mean, it's, it's free. It's available for you guys. But maybe... I'll do some extra ones or something like that. So that's an idea. Um, blank as in uncolored. Yeah, okay, sorry, I read that wrong. Um, how long after this is it on YouTube? I came in so late. So the stream would be available right away after YouTube, I'm pretty sure. So you can just go ahead and refresh this once this stream ends. You can refresh it and start it from the beginning, but the chat won't be available for so long, so you won't be able to see it. I think it's like 10 or 12 hours while like YouTube is processing the video or something like that. So you won't be able to see the chat, but you'll be able to start the video right from the, the beginning. So when I end it, just like refresh it and it should start right over. Yeah, that makes more sense, eh, Brianna? I bought a coloring page on Etsy, yeah. Um, the line art, yeah, I like that idea. I can color it in and procreate, yeah. You could absolutely do that too and, and any of these line art so when i do the patreon you guys will have the line art as well so you don't have to follow along you know on the paper you could do it on procreate you could do it you know with whatever you want that's the really cool thing about art is you can do whatever you want with it yes there's um the link for eb's uh, Etsy shop. So, you know, if you guys are interested, don't feel pressured or anything, but if you guys are interested, definitely check it out because I really like how they came out. I have a question. What did you use to blend? So the first layer of the flower, I used my odorless mineral spirits. I used Gamsol here and I used that to blend out the colored pencil so I have a nice smooth surface. And with that, I can use a light to medium pressure and I don't have to burnish so that I have lots of tooth left to the paper. So as you can see, I can still go over with lights and dark pencils and create this detail. So that's the way that I like to work with colored pencils. So I do have part one available. I don't know if I've linked it down below in the description, but it should be um, on my channel. So if you wanna see that process, you can always go back and see part one, but I haven't really blended anything out on this second part other than just the colored pencils themselves. I use them to sort of blend together. And if I have any harsh lines, depending what I'm working on, for this, I want to create those texture lines right for the flower. But depending if I'm working on something and it's a little smoother, like maybe um, a portrait or whatever, I might go ahead and blend out again with my OMS just to create a smoother surface. So it just depends what the subject is really. But that's a great question. Um, Brianna, do you have an Instagram or something? Yes, I do. And you know what? I should be linking my Instagram down below in the description, but I do have one. It is naomi.c, or I think it's naomic.art or something like that, or naomi.c.art or something. I'll try to go ahead and start linking it um, in my descriptions though, but I'm really bad for posting on there. So that's why I kind of don't promote it as much, but I really should. Um, I should be posting more on there and Brianna says I followed your orange cupcake in procreate and would like to show you yeah so go on I'll, I'll make sure to link it so if um if you check back in the description afterwards I'll link it after this live stream for you and then you can just um hashtag me or whatever it is on on Instagram that's how often I use it <laughs> um yes I got her question thank you thank you shadow um, so details at the end. Yeah, I always uh, put my details on at the end. Naomi, you answered. Yes, I did. Thank you. You guys are very welcome. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up today. And I'll be back again next Sunday, 11 a.m. Atlantic time. And we will do a coloring page color along. And I've had suggestions for markers 
So maybe that's what we'll do. If anybody wants um, something different, then leave it down, you know, in the comments below what you would like. And if you guys haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you give a like to the video. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. So have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of the weekend. EB says, great job, Naomi. I love the artwork. Thanks for streaming. You guys are so welcome. You guys are so sweet. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.